Ah. Well, it held up. How many miles do you think we drove with that? Probably at least 100. 100 miles with the straw? That's yeah. pretty good. In the last episode, our truck broke down in the middle of Dinosaur National Monument after a rodent ate through our fuel line. We managed to make Guyver a replacement out of an old straw and headed to the next town to find a replacement. Click that subscribe button and join us as we take you on the journey of a lifetime. Wherever I go, I will always know Everything I need is right here with me It's time to let it all go, no matter who knows Anything about me now I'm ready to see what life's got for me I got one thing left to say We're in uh, Cray, Colorado And we've been driving around looking for a fuel line And I think we finally found one not a lot of stores out here. It's a lot of little small towns, and we found a place called U.S. Mule that apparently is like a car quest. So they finally have one. We can swap out our straw for a new fuel line. Well, the technology that is being produced in today's vehicles is really cool. They can be exceedingly complicated to repair, and likely would have left us stranded after a rodent had its way with the undercarriage. This is why we chose this old mechanically fueled diesel. The legendary 12-valve Cummins is the reigning champion in reliability amongst American production pickups with a reputation of exceeding a million miles. Powered by a mechanical fuel pump, it requires zero electricity to run, making it easy to repair with the added benefit of being EMP proof. So even if all hell breaks loose, we can keep on trucking. I know that no matter what happens, I can rely on this truck to get us down the road. And I feel like that's a pretty big deal considering all the remote destinations we frequent. My amazing husband did it again. Over the last decade, I've seen Nick manage to flawlessly MacGyver so many different things to help us out of difficult situations. It gives me so much peace of mind when traveling to new unknown places that we can solve just about any problem with a little ingenuity and kindness from others. With our truck in good working condition, it's time to blow off some steam in Steamboat, Colorado. Steamboat is a gorgeous little town right on the Yampa River. It's the perfect place to make a stop for the night. After a bite to eat with an amazing river view, we stretched our legs for a little bit by walking around town, and Trixie had a swim. Then we found a place to settle in for the night. Tomorrow we're looking forward to finally seeing some live music after months of COVID lockdowns. Nick found two different locations in Silverthorne, Colorado, only a couple hours away, and on our road south. It'll be a great way to relax after several long days of being on the road. We drove two and a half hours to come and see live music. First live music we would have seen in two months. And then it rained. And they canceled the music. It's raining pretty hard. And I was. We have another option tonight, though. So. We have one more band. How's your beer? The beer's delicious. The pretzel's delicious. My wife is gorgeous. I'm happy and healthy and good for it. So appreciate y'all coming out here for what actually turned out to be a gorgeous afternoon. It was not looking this way just a couple hours ago. We are uh, working title, but we are CDE3. We got Levi Korg and Emily German. My name is Tyler Easton. Do you make every way you go a place to call home? Destination home? Are you a change that you want to see? It's life all for you that it could be self-reflection. 
with the honest answer you should not hide. You know happiness is displayed when it's on the inside. On the inside. So we met some friends out here in Silverthorne, Colorado, and uh, they have a community garden that they told us to come on by and get some fresh fruits and veggies. We are here at a community garden in Dillon, Colorado, and our new friend Emily Durbin told us about it last night, and she offered for us to come pick some greens. I guess they have an overabundance, so we're gonna go shopping at the community garden. Thank you very, very much, Emily. That's gonna be delicious. You rock. Garden of the Gods is a place that neither Nick or I had ever heard of. It was suggested to us only a few days before by our good friend and ex-neighbor Debbie. We couldn't be more thrilled to see such an awe-inspiring natural wonder. The story of the Garden of the Gods is about children fulfilling their father's dream. Charles Elliot Perkins bought 240 acres of land in 1879. 20 years later, he bought 240 more acres and then wrote to his friend and founder of Colorado Springs, General Palmer, that he wanted to donate his 480 acres to the city of Colorado Springs. Unfortunately, Perkins died in 1907 before officially arranging the Garden of the Gods to become a public park. His children, knowing their father's wish, deeded the 480 acres to the city in 1909 with the stipulation that it remain free to the entire world. To this day, the whole park is free to the public and beautiful as ever. This park has a little bit of something for all levels of explorers. From a simple drive through the well-paved route, educational visitor center, free guided walks, 21 miles of trails to explore, to rock climbing and biking. During your journey through this geological marvel, there are many rock formations to keep your eye out for. Some of these include the Kissing Camels, Siamese Twins, and Balanced Rock. If you look up here at the top of the rock ridge, there's a hole where it looks like two camel heads are kissing. It's called Kissing Camel. So I have a story about this rock. We're over here at Balanced Rock in Colorado at the Garden, the Garden of the Gods. And my grandfather, who was born in 1920, came here on a road trip. And he really was concerned and he wanted to know why wouldn't they knock this thing over because it's such a health risk? <laughs> he was worried that the rock was gonna fall off of here and land on somebody. So he wanted to blow it up with dynamite. <laughs> Take it off. I think he kind of missed the point. <laughs> Here we are at Siamese Twins. It's a cool little window between the two of them. It's a nice little spot to take a break. There's beautiful views all around. The window over there overlooking the city. Trixie approves. It's a very pretty place. You can spend all day here and not see it all. Jacqueline proved. It's a cool spot. I like it. It's like a window. Window to your soul. Window to the world. My two favorite people in the whole world. My little Siamese twins. We are. We are. Connected at the hip. 
we are entering the visitor center at uh, Garden of the Gods, and we're gonna go find out what's inside the visitor center. This place is wonderful. You guys should come check it out for sure. After you. Call it a day. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, ring the little bell, and join us on our next journey. Turn out the lights, don't try to see. Keeps on ticking, never gonna let her go.